Thursday night to go out to dinner with the Rothschild in Holland Park or Ladbrook, <laughs> Grey, wasn't it? She oh, set out at eight. Yes. She got there at a quarter to ten. <laughs> That's yes, yes. I think it must be ne just next door to where we live. I think yes, yes. That's right. I heard all kinds of terrible stories about people who tried to do things. And I said, why didn't tonight? you turn around and go home? She said, I couldn't. There was no way. I couldn't get out and move. <laughs> Thought it'd best just go on. <laughs> you see, the balloons are still stuck in the tree there. Yes, we were asking. We were trying to get the keeper of the Privy Purse to take a shotgun out. Oh, well, they're rather pretty. They look rather better than a lot of crows. Yes, but they look awful. But then, because they're just been little bits of, 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 of shredded, of shredded rubber. rubber. Yes, like after the, uh, the uh, green petrol. Yes, they hit the trees and exploded, and the garden was absolutely full of dead balloons. It's very, very disagreeable. Not very ecological, really. Not at all ecological. <clears throat> There are over 20 billion portraits of the Queen in existence, if you count stamps, coins, and banknotes. The painter of this extra one is Andrew Festing, son of a field marshal. Did your father paint? Or no. Oh, no. He, no, no. He was more interested in that. He was, <laughs> but he was, I do get it from him. I mean, I, his, I think I, I get it from his side of the family. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he was quite artistic. He was a collector, wasn't he? Yes, he, that's right, yes, he was a manic collector. But he also could, could explain about what, you know, his collection. That was what was so clever. Yes, you know? yes. I mean, to me, you thought I was person with pistols and those sort of things hanging on the wall are very dull. But to have him explain it to me yes. was absolutely yes. fascinating because yes. they, they were real things to him. Mm. They were, you know, objects of. Yes. And you could, he could almost imagine who'd, who would have used them yes. or what they would have been used for. Yes. Oh, he was, I mean, the whole thing was, he was, when he was relatively old, he used to go for walks outside, mm. carrying all these old guns and pistols in his pockets. <clears throat> and he always travelled everywhere with, with a pair of flintlock pistols. Did he? And stuffed away in some pocket. Did he? Whenever he came to London, he used to carry them in the train with him. So he lived this sort of fantasy life, almost. <laughs> he was some 18th century character, I think. <laughs> well, that probably explains how so many of our pistols have disappeared and <laughs> found in some sales, sales catalogue. People do things like that. They think they're somebody else and, walk you know, walk them. off with them. I don't know. I don't know he she's... didn't. Not necessarily, no. but I mean, no, other I people don't... like him. <laughs> these robes they're not really been practical they couldn't have been practical even in the days when somebody wore clothes like this or didn't it must be quite warm though i suppose it's certainly warm on a june day plodding yes, down yes i bet it's always very lucky if you plod downhill and not uphill <laughs> The Queen has sat for more than a hundred portraits since she came to the throne, one in ten in garter robes. Andrew Festing will have half a dozen sittings for this one. It has been commissioned by the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst for its 250th anniversary. It looks like a few more tourists, doesn't it? Yes, still not by any means. It's a very good mixture here of bearskins and flat hats. And... This is a light duty for Sir Kenneth Scott, the Deputy Private Secretary who was once our ambassador to Yugoslavia. His main preoccupation at the moment is preparing for one of the biggest royal events of the year, the Queen's forthcoming state visit to the USA. Are you going off to Washington tomorrow morning? Are you? To the recce, yeah. We're having trouble with Mount Vernon. Um, I think we may have to go there by car, rather than by boat down the river. And they're having trouble finding a yacht. Jimmy Carter sold the presidential yacht. 
But other than that, I think Washington is pretty well. Nice. And the football match. Baseball. Baseball match. Prince Philip will be required to pitch the first ball. Is it? Are you sure? Well, he will be asked. <laughs> 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 